Prawn or shrimp is marinated in spices and ginger and garlic paste. A batter is then prepared with gram, rice flour, chili powder, yogurt, oil, food coloring, some coriander and water. Baking powder and salt are also added. This airy batter is then added to the prawn and it's cooked in hot oil. Let's start with the prawns or shrimp. I have 300 grams of tiger prawn here and these have been shelled and deveined already. You can also just use regular white shrimp. I'm going to butterfly the prawns by slicing them halfway through horizontally. This is totally optional. I like to do this as it gives more surface area for the batter to cling onto. add one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm going to be adding half a teaspoon of ajwain seeds. These are also called bishop's weed, carom or caraway seeds. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, the juice of half a lime, and I'm going to mix this well together. I'm not adding any salt right now as I don't want to draw any moisture out of the prawns. Leave this aside for about 30 minutes. For the batter, I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of gram flour. This is also known as besan or chanaka atta. To this, I will also add 3 tablespoons of rice flour. Add 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 2 tablespoons of yogurt, 1 tablespoon of oil, And for that nice red color, I will be adding a quarter teaspoon of red food coloring. Add a tablespoon of chopped coriander and mix this well together. Add about one or two tablespoons of water just to bring it all together and make a thick paste. To make this batter nice and airy and this is not traditional, I'm going to be adding in 2 teaspoons of baking powder. Salt is also added and mix this well together. You'll start to see the batter look really nice and airy. Quickly add this to the shrimp and mix. You want to fry this as quickly as possible. My oil is nice and hot and using a spoon, make sure that the prawns are coated in that lovely batter and drop it in. Resist the urge to start moving them around until the batter has started to crisp up around the prawn to avoid scraping the batter off. When these are nice and crisp, remove them and drain them on some kitchen towel. Repeat with the rest of the shrimp.
This is typically served with some delicious green chutney. Enjoy!